Hey guys, and welcome to another video. I'm JP from Plumpot. Uh, if you just joined us for the first time, we normally make videos of PCB tutorials, LTM or KiCad, and also about designing and building different electronics projects. Um, so like DIY projects at home. We build a drone, we build a macro keyboard, uh, we're busy with a smart wall clock at the moment, and also a smart chessboard at the moment. But this video is not actually anything like that before. So this is quite a unique video for me. Um, so last night, myself and another friend of mine, Bob, uh, we actually populated a PCB together in a reflow oven that I've got at my house. And I took videos and photos and stuff, and I, th I wasn't planning to do this. So I thought maybe I'll just put this together in like a short uh, voiceover of the videos that, we, that I have and explaining what we did and why we did some stuff. So in this video, we'll see us um, using syringes with solder paste, and then also we have a reflow oven. So a reflow oven is basically a big oven like this where you can put your PCB in and it slowly goes through and it solders your components for you. So you'll see more in this video. And it's quite nice to see how the components get pulled together when it gets heated up with the solder paste. So this video is basically just seeing how we populate boards when we don't use a soldering iron. Uh, it might be interesting for you. Guys, so it's like a little of a vlog. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this where I populate stuff, uh, where I literally build stuff with my hands, uh, let me know in the comments, then I'll try to make better quality, quality videos. Uh, like I said, I just tried to put this together now. Yeah, it was not supposed to be a vlog, but I guess now it is a vlog. Um, so just watch it. And let me know what you guys think. Should I focus more on vlog style, um, building, designing, actually seeing how it's done? Or should I just keep quiet, focus on tutorials and help you guys build more stuff? Uh, watch it. Let me know if you like it. Or if you want to learn more about PCB design, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff, it helps us, I think. <laughs> no, of course it does help us. It just gives us a, a verification of what we are doing is helping you guys. Uh, enjoy, guys. First thing we tried to do was trying to get the solder paste in the syringe. So you use the syringe to get the solder paste on the boards for your components, and then we take it to our oven. So this is the oven I've got at my house, uh, just used to easily solder the components. You can see there's a fan on top, and the inside is the interesting part. So there you can see the heat elements. So these elements heat up we actually have heat element on top and at the bottom. So this is what heats up the whole reflow oven um, to solder our components together. So nice ceramic on top. And this is called a conventional oven. And the bottom left, you will see the degrees of the temperature. So this is what it is, three different stages as you get in, slowly heating it up, and at the end having 400 degrees. That's quite hot. So it's quite common for a reflow oven to have different stages. So you'll see the preheat and then two reflow systems. And the reflow on the right hand side is the temperature at the bottom going up, um, soldering our components. Later on in this video, you'll see actually a nice little video showing the solder paste melting and making the components stick. And that is our solder base. So you can see it's just a Baba Zinkoba. <laughs> we actually got this from the previous company we worked at. And yeah, they gave us this bottle and we keep it in the fridge. We've actually had this for about two years. And it seems to be okay. It seems to be working. Always keep it tight. Always keep it closed. Otherwise it gets damaged. So what we decided to do is we actually try to test first if this solder can be reflowed. So we put it in the syringe. And then we're going to put it on the pads just a random PCB, like the one on the top you'll see, uh, just to first test if the solder paste still works before we build the real ones. And that is the board we are busy... No, not. So that's the board that Bob made. Um, it's just used for the M55 stack e-reader. So it's got a USB-C through, um, feed through. So what that means is just USB in, USB out. Uh, I'll show you at the end of the video image of how it looks and then a couple of easy components. So Bob needed the reflow oven for the USB-C because that's quite difficult or almost impossible to solder by hand. So you just put some solder paste on the left hand side where you see J3 and put the components in and the reflow oven will or should uh, solder it quite nicely. And that's the back. A pub always put some images on the PCBs and in the model you can actually see there's like a, a Tigger from Winnie the Pooh that he actually made on the PCB. How cool is that? It's upside down now, but right in the middle you kind of can make out it looks like Tigger. 
and that's just it. So USB-C on the left hand side and some components on the right hand side. And Bob always put some smiley faces on his PCB. So the bottom left hand side you can see a light bulb. So it used to be just a normal smiley face but he recently added a light bulb feature. Uh, he just always adds in on all his PCBs to trademark or not trademark just to show or to add a little bit of personal touches to his PCBs. So there you can see we're going to slowly put the solar paste on just pads. So it's just to test. We actually didn't put it on there. We actually put it on the bottom PCB where you see the ESP32 footprint. Uh, didn't record that. But there's all the syringes you can get from AliExpress. So we actually bought it or Bob bought it from AliExpress and quite cheap. And then it's just easier to put on the pads. So there you can see the whole packet of it. All different sizes and nozzles and stuff. Here you can see that the reflow oven actually moves very, very slow. Um, so you can control the speed of the reflow oven, but we just try to make it slow as possible. It's quite an old design, old reflow oven. And then you can see some solder paste on the ESP32 pads, also on the CP2104 pad on the bottom left. Um, so it's going to go through the reflow oven. We just wanted to see if it actually still um, reflows. So if it actually sees, you can see the temperatures. Uh, 401 is all equal to where you're supposed to be and there you can see the solder paste on it So that's quite a lot. So there might be some shorts, but we'll soon find out And there you can see the inside Slowly it's very very slow, but and there we go. So now you can start seeing it gets to the end of the reflow oven where the 400 degrees is. And you slowly you'll see that solder paste starts melting. So when the solder paste melts, it kind of looks like it was short, but it doesn't. The open copper actually pulls the solder to it. There you can see it happening on the right hand side. And it won't because solder and your solder paste sticks to the pads and not the solder mask. So if the solder mask in between, it'll try not to go there and it'll actually just go on the pads. So there you can see, right in the middle, it makes nice little reflow, nice little solar joints. Uh, you'll see on the left hand side now that on the CP2104, you can see at U4 on the left hand side, uh, there's a bit too much paste and you'll see what happens now is when the heat goes there, it'll make little balls. And that's not ideal, um, <laughs> but there's no component on pushing it down and too much solder is also not very good for the board. So there you can see it makes little balls. Uh, yeah, it's just not perfect, it's, but at least we know the solder paste still works. This was the idea about this board. Nice and slow. It's also important to note that you don't take out the board straight away. So you first want it to cool down. So even though you've got access to it with your hands now, uh, don't just pull it. Wait for it to go above that fan because you want the solder to cool down and the board to cool down because it's 400 degrees that if you touch it that you might get burnt and there you can see there all the solar balls and the shorts and stuff which is not ideal great camera work as always so i like the way bob does it so bob always looks at his pc as reference and then you'll start placing components on the pcb that he designed so you, there you can see altium and he's just making sure that everything's fine orientation wise and where the components are placed there's all these tools and kits and stuff very organized unlike me and there you can see the board is busy doing so there you can see the USB-C on the top right hand side and the components at the bottom so the main purpose for this was USB-C so the bottom PCB is not that important for now it's just we needed it to help lift up the PCB because the USB-C on the right hand side we got one at the bottom and one on top so this PCB just worked perfectly it wasn't it wasn't planned or anything but it just kept the USB-C that's below the board above uh, so it won't touch the ground. And there's just a zoomed in photo, great quality camera work. And there's Bob's case. So Bob always has a case full of components, very organized like I said. Uh, it's just easier to manage. And there it goes in the oven. Same as we did earlier, so we'll slowly go. This is quite the cool part guys. If there's any part of the video you guys are watching, I hope it's this one. You'll slowly see now how the solder paste melts and the components actually stick together. It's quite amazing to watch. Watch this, watch this, watch this. So you'll see it goes from right to left. So the temperature increases, right? The further you go right, 
the temperature increases. Um, so you'll first see the right components get soldered and then we'll go right to the left. But you can see also that the components are not placed perfectly straight or anything because what happens is when the solder paste gets melted or soldered, it actually pulls the components straight. Uh, it will pull it towards the pads. So all the solder will try to go to the pad and not the solder mask. The solder mask is the green part you see. So let's see if we can see it. There we go. You see on the right hand side, there it goes, comes nice and shiny. Now you'll see it go to the left hand side. You can see it pulls it a bit to the left. And then last but not least, the left hand side gets soldered over there as well. That is amazing. And there you can see a nice shine to it. And on top, I try to get a picture of it. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, like I said, let me know what you thought about it. Should I make more practical videos like this? Of course, I'll do a better job in the quality. Uh, I'll try at least. Um, and then yeah, make a more vlog style in the future as well with the tutorials. Of course, I will always do the tour, tutor, 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 tutor. I will always do the tutorials because uh, I just think it's a nice way for everyone to learn about PC design. But maybe I should show some real life stuff as well. Uh, let me know. Have a fantastic week. We are ever in the world. As always, join our Discord below. That's where I can help the easiest. So if you ever have any questions, just ask it there. There's more people. There's more people like me on there. Yeah. Uh, so it's not just me helping this whole bunch but we're about 200 people now which is awesome okay so that's it uh, see you guys wednesday again for another pcb, PCB tutorial uh, have a great day have a great night have a great week see you guys next time bye